Hello friends, welcome to the channel Solution. Today in this video, we will show you the standard operating procedure of desiccator means how to use desiccator in proper way. First of all, let's know what is desiccator and how it works. It is one of the type of moisture control system in which we keep any sample or material for two purpose. Either to dry the sample, if any trace amount of moisture present in it or it is used when the sample is once dried then to prevent it from further absorbing moisture or you can see from reabsorbing moisture by the sample from the surrounding atmosphere. And inside the chamber of desiccator we place a substance which is a drying agent and it is called as desiccant. Desiccants are the substance which works by a process called adsorption and, and this substance have an ability to attract or you can say which have a particular affinity for water and have a strong affinity to adsorb water and this desiccants remove water vapor from the desiccator atmosphere and also from the substance placed in it. Now let's know the parts of desiccator. This is a desiccator which is an airtight vessel and this desiccator is made up of glass. At the top of desiccator there is a lead. Remove the lead and keep it aside. This is the edge of lead which is called as ground glass rim of the desiccator lead and we have to do greasing here to make the desiccator airtight. Inside the disc you can see here there is a perforated disc. We have to place the sample on this perforated disc. Next, remove the perforated disc from the desiccator and keep it aside. After removing perforated disc, here you can see the section or you can see chamber of the desiccator where we have to fill the chamber with the desiccants. Desiccants, as we already told, is a drying agent. Means this drying agent adsorbs moisture present in the chamber and also adsorbs moisture present in the sample. Next, we will show you the handling procedure of desiccator. Now, first add desiccants means drying agent into the chamber of desiccator. Here we have taken silica gel as a desiccants. You can also use in place of silica gel, magnesium sulfate, phosphorus pentoxide, calcium chloride as a desiccant. Now, here we have added silica gel in a desiccator chamber. And this silica gel prevent the sample to reabsorb moisture from the surrounding atmosphere. And now, properly spread the silica gel with with the help of spatula. After this, lubricate the glass rim of the desiccator lead. Here, we will apply thin layer of petroleum jelly or you can also use paraffin wax or Vaseline which are available in the market or you can use other lubricant to ensure an airtight seal. The main purpose of greasing or you can say lubricating with petroleum jelly is to ensure that when we close this desiccator with a lid then there will be no space between the lid and the chamber so that to prevent the entry of air from outside the desiccator and chamber become airtight. Now replace the perforated disc in inside the desiccator. Now insert hot crucible containing powder dry drug and put it over the perforated disc of desiccator with the help of Tom. Here we have inserted hot crucible containing dried material into the desiccator to cool it so that it will not reabsorb moisture during cooling. Now cover the desiccator with the lid. Slide the lid in this way over the desiccator to close it. Do not lift the lid to open the desiccator as it may lift the desiccator along with the lid and result in breaking of the desiccator because of an airtight seal. Always slide the lid half to open or close the desiccator with one hand and holding the desiccator with another hand. And also do not open the lid and expose the internal environment of desiccator for a longer period of time as it may result in entry of moisture and saturation of silica gel. So always close the lid of desiccator as soon as possible. So this is all about desiccator. Thank you very much for watching this video.